my name is Brenda. My channel is Handwork Maniac. Welcome. <clears throat> it's the last week in July 2022. I have one item of today on the video. We'll do one item of housekeeping. That's the winner of the giveaway. And then I have two finishes. One of them is epic. Several new starts and I'll show you all of the cross stitch projects that I have worked on since the last video. Okay, so let's do, oh, an item of housekeeping on not last video, but the video before that, I announced a giveaway because my friend Deanna at Cherry Hill Stitchery sent me this kitted up chart, Bumble Honey Company, to do as a giveaway. She has an Etsy store, um, the coupon code. Okay, so this is a paper pattern. She has started distributing through a distributor for her paper patterns. So if you want the paper pattern, you're gonna have to go through a cross stitch shop or an online shop like, I know Fat Quarter Shop carries her paper patterns. Her PDFs are available on her Etsy store, Cherry Hill Stitchery, her Etsy shop. And if you want 10% off of just the PDF charts on her Etsy shop, the coupon code is HandworkManiac10. All right, so I announced that I was going to be giving, she sent me one to stitch and one to give away to you guys. So I announced it as a giveaway and you had to comment with the word honey in the comments of not the last video, but the one before that. <laughs> I know, so confusing. And the winner is Catherine Bosler. <laughs> Catherine Bosler. So exciting. I will be stitching this as well, and I'll get it off in the mail to Catherine Bosler. If she, I just need her to send me, Catherine, send me an email at adnerbyakj at gmail.com. That's my um, email address. It's also listed in the description box below. I know it sounds weird, but it's just my name backwards. My middle name is K-A-Y, so it's Brenda K, and my maiden name started with a J. So Brenda backwards is Adnerb. My brothers used to always call me that, Adnerb. Then my middle name K backwards is Yak, and then the first initial of my maiden name was J. So Adnerb Yak J. A-D-N-E-R-B-Y-A-K-J. It's in the description box below. Give me an email and we'll get your, um, I'll get your details so I can get it emailed out to you or snail mailed out to you. Okay, so two finishes. I'll do the smaller one first. This is Beach Cottage by the Victoria Sampler. It is on 32 count Silk Weaver Peaceful Waters. I used all the called for threads, lots of specialty threads in Victoria Sampler, lots of specialty stitches. You can see the, um, there's Lazy Daisy and French Knots for this vine of flowers that goes up over the house couple of beads on there, the doorknob and the top of the umbrellas. This is a series. She did one for each season and they each have the words going around the corner of the outside edge in case you wanted to put all four of them together. You could. I think I might want to stitch all four of them on different colors of fabric and then maybe sew them together as one big piece. Not sure. But totally loved stitching on that this month. So excited. And then the epic finish is so huge, I had to actually clip it to a board. I had to pull out the board. This is My Peaceable Kingdom by Catherine Theron. T-H-E-R-O-N. It was a class piece that I took from her. The chart is only available if you take the class from her, but she does travel 
around to do her different classes. If you want to check her teaching schedule, it's therontraditions.com is her website, T-H-E-R-O-N, Theron Traditions. I finally went back and figured out that I took this class from her in September of 2013. So almost nine years, eight and a half years, it took me to finish this. <laughs> I've loved working on it. Um, it's mostly specialty stitches, hardly any cross stitch. It came as a kit. I think this is 32 count fabric. Some of it's over one, some of it's over two, lots of silks and some cottons in it. Just a variety of different threads came in the kit. I'll try and give you some close-ups. These little people in the grass are uh, tent stitch over one. I think the alphabet trees are the cushion stitch. We call them the alphabet trees when they stitched on them. All the grass is vertical satin and the house. I think the roof might have been diagonal. No, the roof was something else. I can't remember now what it was. Might have been one on cross. Can't remember. The lilacs are all French knots. The strawberries are all uh, Smyrna cross. Oh, and the little yellow um, buds are queen stitches. The screen border is the Montenegrin stitch. But so happy to have that finished. I have four projects started by her that I took classes for from her. This is the first one I actually finished. <laughs> so now that I finished this one, I'm going to be moving on to work on this one called Bless This House Sampler. And this is what I have so far. One little raspberry or strawberry. I'm not sure which one it is. The, board, the Montenegrin border is completely finished as well as this um, satin stitch border all the way around. It's not as big as the other one, so hopefully it does not take almost nine years to finish this one. All right, that's it for the finishes. Let's look at the cross-stitch projects I have worked on since the last time I showed them to you. This one is a kit by Lenarte. And I think it's called called Four Seasons. Lenarte Four Seasons. It was a kit, so I'm using the called for fabric, which is 28 count Lugana. And I'm using the called for the kit threads have two bundles of them. I started in the middle. There's a bouquet of flowers right in the middle. Thinking that I could, whatever season we were in, I would work on that. I could move from the middle out and work on whatever season it was. So I started it during the spring and worked on the spring section. And then I started during the summer, I started working on the summer section. A very big piece of fabric so I need to take it off the key stamps. Which one 
my needle is parked. All right, so this, this is how big it will be eventually. <laughs> It probably does have some generous, I don't know, three inch border on it, but it is a very large project. So this is the bouquet of flowers that's right in the middle. This is the spring um, square up here at the top left. And then this is the summer square, start on the summer square that will be over here. I actually made it over to the edge on this side so you can see that it has a very generous border. This is the edge. Those beautiful pansies. These lovely bird feathers. This is that bouquet right in the middle with a bee. There's not very much back stitching on this, just you know, like these feathers. There's a little bit on these pansies on that bee. None of those flowers have any back stitching. Then I started, I did for the summer one, I had to do this flower so that I could get up here to the summer part. And I did this beautiful little caterpillar. I think he's so cute. So that is where I am so far on that one. Two strands of floss over two fabric threads. All right, I worked on Consider the Lilies a little bit. This is Consider the Lilies by Heartstring Samplery. I am stitching it. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. On 46 Count Flax by Zweigart with the called for threads. And this is what I have so far. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. This one is a stitch along with By the Bay Needle Arts called Home Sweet Home. It will look like this when it's finished. We get one such in a month in our email. It comes on the eighth every month. So I have already received the, the section for um, that came on the eighth of July. I haven't stitched that section yet. This is on 46 count vintage by Be Stitch Me with the called for DMC threads, one strand of floss over two fabric threads. So one over two. So this is the one that we got on June 8th and I finished that one. I need to start on the one that we got on July 8th. Started in November, so it will be finished in November if I keep up. That one's been a lot of fun to work on. A lot of the color 730, one strand of floss over 46 count, and I have almost used an entire skein of 730. It's all the border and it's in the greenery, trees and grass of every piece as well. Oh, this is one of my new starts. My friend Sharon and I are stitching all four seasons from the Cricut collection. We've done all of them, but summer. Summer is our last one to do. 
And so we knew we were going to start that in July. I am stitching mine on 32 count weeks lilac. And this is what I have so far. A straw hat or a beautiful summer hat. I don't know if it's straw and the starts of an S. struggling with these bags today. This one is Kingdom of Books. It was a kit. I am using, I am not using the kit fabric, but I am using the kit floss. And I am not stitching all of this wood background up here or this wood shelf down here. I'm just stitching a little bit of the shadow above the book so you can see the white detail on top of the books and a little bit of the shelf down here to give it a shadow at the bottom so it anchors it so they're not floating in the air. Mine is stitched on 18 count Overdyed Ada in the color Caramel Cream by My Vintage Needle Arts on Etsy. So Sharon and I have been stitching a half of a book a month and then we broke that middle section down into four months, I believe. We did. This section and half of this one month, this section and half of this one month. This month is the cupola up here on the top. So I'm not quite done with that yet. I have a couple more days to get that finished. And the next month will be the beautiful garden scene that's right here behind this wrought iron gate. The pattern is from Russia. The titles are charted in Russian. A friend of mine translated them to English, so I am stitching them in English so I know what the books are about. All of the book titles are subjects that have to do with the Netherlands, so I'm assuming that the artist meant these as the tall skinny houses along the canals in the Netherlands that look like books. Such a fun pattern. This one is a Jan Lin kit called Summer Montage. There is also a full coverage version of this same artwork by Jan Stever, I want to say. Yep, Janet Stever. Um, there's a full coverage version of this done by Pain Free Crafts, if you're interested in that. I decided to do the kit version because it would be a lot less stitches and I might actually be able to finish it. <laughs> I'm doing all four seasons. The <clears throat> I loved the coloring on the Pain Free Crafts version of this artwork. I loved the that um, a tannish background. What do you call that? It kind of looks like stucco. That's a side by side comparison of the kit version versus the Pain Free Crafts full coverage version. So I over dyed some fabric myself to make it the background look more like this color. It is 18 count linen, no, 36 count linen. That <laughs> uh, I over dyed myself with writ dye. Or I guess I dyed it myself because I, well, I only dyed it once. Working on that watermelon at the top. That's what I have so far. I haven't done any back stitching yet. doesn't have a huge amount of back stitching, but it does have some to give to help with the details. That one's been fun to work on. Using the kit floss, two strands of 
floss over two fabric threads. This is another new start. My sister-in-law, Debbie. So you know, I've talked about Walter, my younger brother, and his wife, Juliana. My older brother, Roger, his wife is Debbie. And she cross-stitches as well. And we used to cross-stitch a lot when our kids were young. And we just started cross-stitching together again. We are going to do these snapshot series. I think I will put them in my office and change them, put them in a frame and change them out every month. I'm doing mine on 32 count, I believe. Some tannish fabric that I had that looked close to this, a, a beige. This way. <laughs> this is the snapshot series is by Sandra Workman Pine Mountain Designs. Using the call for DMC on this 32 count. I think it calls for 30. Yes, 32 count. Beigey colored linen, which I'm not sure right at this moment what color it is. Don't have too much more to go to finish this August one. Hoping to get it done by the end of the week so I can put it in my office next week when I go back to work. This is another new start. <laughs> Apparently the starditis bug has not left me yet. Actually, no, I didn't start that one. This is Beachcomber by Carolyn Manning Designs. Mine is on 25 count Lugana, uh, an off-white color, antique white. One strand of floss over one fabric thread with the Cold for DMC. This was my Whipco piece this month, so I am trying to get 20 hours in on it. I think I'm at 14 hours right now, so I just have a few more to go before the end of the month. I'm working downwards right here, right now. Such gorgeous colors in this. One strand of floss over one fabric thread. This one is a Mill Hill kit from their Floral Fantasy series. This is yellow, Floral Yellow 2. The, I'm in a collaboration with Debbie Mum and Mill Hill. It came with um, 14 count yellow Ada. And I decided to do it on some opalescent fabric that I have, 28 count Crystal Chime. That is also a yellow. And I'm hoping to get this finished in the next couple of days. I'm still, I don't have any beads on this flower yet. I won't until I finish it or the back stitching, but these three, four flowers have all the back stitching and beads on them already. Using the kit floss and the kit beads, two strands of floss over two fabric threads. This is a stitch for All Seasons Summer by Little Dove Designs. I am stitching this on where in here is the card. These are my project cards by S. Ward Designs on Etsy. S-W-A-R-D Designs on Etsy. 
It's where I can mark the days that I worked on it and the details at the top. She also has other cards where you can work the amount or mark the amount of stitches that you stitched. Um, where you can keep track of all your starts, your whip list for that year. She has lots of different cards to help you keep organized. Mine is on 40 Count Seaside Melody by Silk Weaver. I'm using the called for DMC. One strand of floss over one, two, one strand of floss over two fabric threads. And I was able to finish all of all of this middle section and all of this section over here. If I can get the green up out of the way. This one has been so fun. So summery. I loved the fruit. I just have this top section to go. Uh, this is not spring. I know it says spring on there. Where's my other one that says the right thing? If they must have had a misprint because they put, it had two copies of just the cover piece in it. So they put, had to reprint it. So it would say summer, four season summer, Erica Michaels Petites. It came with 40 count silk gauze to do it on, but I decided instead to do it on 40 count even weave, Verdal even weave on white using the called for colors. One strand of floss over one fabric thread on 40 count Verdal. Just doing a tent stitch. Thought it would be fun to try out one over one on 40 count Verdal. And it is very lovely to work on. But you can see how tiny it is. <laughs> it's going to be like two inches by two inches. Uh, this one is letters A and B by M Designs. I am just stitching the B. This one is on 56 count antique white linen. And I'm using Avera Soie 103 black silk. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. So there's not really a good place to put that, is there? I don't remember if I worked on this one, maybe a little bit. This is Summer Schoolhouse Lesson Number One by Brenda Gervais. It's a set of five pillows. I'll be doing all of them as pillows. On the called for fabric, which is Mushroom Lugana 25 count, one over one. 28 count, actually. It's 28 count, one over one. Using the called for floss. Of it. And that's what I have. I'm working on that house. This one is My Home in the Garden by Liz Matthews. It's a stitch along I'm doing with several friends and some of you maybe. Mine's on 40 count alabaster with the called for Gloriana silks. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. We try and get one section a month done. We had it divided into 12 sections. We started it last October. So we're hoping to have it done by this October. 
we're getting close. We just have three sections left at the bottom. This will be August, this will be September, and then this will be October. Just gorgeous colors. Those that color palette is just so lovely. Okay, and the last one is a new start. This one is the big zipper round by Bent Creek. It was only released as a kit in six parts, so you had to buy all six kits. It's been several years, so it's out of print. But there are, I believe, yeah, I, but there are um, stores, brick and mortar stores that still have it on their shelves, if you can find all six parts. Or you could look on the secondary market. Big Zipper Round by Bent Creek. The kit comes with pearl cotton. And some, I wanna say it's like 10 count linen. I wanna try stitching it on this 30 count weeks blue with the pearl cotton. It's kind of an experiment. So I started in the middle and that's what I have so far. The pearl cotton is going to be very thick on there. But it kind of gives it some chunky dimension. All right, if that is all the whips, I think that's everything. I will insert a clip here at the end of the before and after, I took a, I worked on the Wee Village a couple of weeks ago. My, I have a flower garden in the backyard where I've made a miniature village with plants and little houses. And I worked on it finally a couple weeks ago, got it, all the plants trimmed back from the crazy spring. It did very well in the spring. I just needed to go out and do some pruning. So I have a before and after video that Andrew, my son Andrew will put right now after this clip so that you can see how it's doing. I hope you're having a great summer and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye. Look at this poor thing. And it's completely overgrown. It's healthy. The houses have been completely covered up. See that little yellow house in there somewhere? Little beehive house. Little teapot house. The bridge. <laughs> and the little uh, plate at the bottom where the water comes down. Where is it? There's a blue house in there somewhere. And a yellow house. And there's another house, a little brown house in there. There's the little black house. I don't know where the Bear Lake house is. <laughs> See the top of the blue house with the little lake and he has his little chair out there by the lake. What lake? can barely see the water where the water starts. There's a house out there in the middle of a sea of green. Snapdragons are happy. Time to do some clearing out.